welcome to Pop Logical. Uh, my name is Cliff Caporale, and I'm going to try uh, something for the very first time. I'm, uh, I've never done a, a beer review. Uh, I'm not uh, the biggest beer connoisseur. I enjoy beers uh, very much, but I never thought I was going to do a review. But this one came along. I was at the store, and this one I came across it. It's called uh, Dark helmet uh schwartz beer imperial uh it is from uh, the uh, canadian brewery uh bows uh and in this brewery they they created um it's in bank uh, by the way it's in van Cleek hill ontario uh they created a beer called dark helmut i'm guessing i'm pronouncing it that way it's uh, from uh, the wild oats series dark helmet 7.3 percent alcohol uh, strong beer, a whole 600 milliliters. Uh, so I saw it at the beer store where I where I get my beers, uh, and uh, it, it Dark Helmet for those that uh, uh, are not familiar is a reference to um, a Spaceball by Mel Brooks. Uh, Dark Helmet is played by uh, Rick Moranis, uh, and they have over here uh, the uh, spaceship for. Uh, um, uh, in space balls, I don't remember the name. I, I I would have had to do the research, but I don't recall the name. So I just wanted to try it. Uh, it is it it is a, a darker beer. Uh, I am not the biggest fan of darker beers. I usually enjoy um, uh, IPAs uh, or or more citrusy beers or uh, quenchy beers, darker beers. However, I do like you know coffee beers and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna try to try this one. Uh, for those that don't know, the uh, film uh, Spaceballs is, uh, oh, look at that, gorgeous. Uh, the film Spaceballs is a parody of the all-famous Star Wars. Uh, so uh, Star Wars, as we all know, is uh, features uh, the greatest villain ever, which is uh, uh, Darth Vader, and, uh, you know, one second, <laughs> uh, and uh, Dark Helmet is featured uh, as the villain in Spaceballs, and it's a parody um, of Darth Vader, played by Rick Moranis. Uh, a, you know, uh, the 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 very very geeky fans will be very familiar with him. Uh, so I'm gonna try the beer, and and here you see that the way I poured it. I'm not sure if I poured it properly. For years, I've been telling people not to pour it in a way where it creates too much um, uh, of the uh, spumante section over here. Uh, and then I was corrected and say, well, you got to have some uh, some uh, bubbles uh, or enough bubbles to get the gas out or else those bubbles get trapped in your stomach and you're done for. So I'm going to try it nonetheless, even though there's uh, quite a bit of uh, 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 foam here. Hmm. Or just the smell is very, very nice. A chocolatey coffee uh, type of smell. Uh, the ingredients, uh, let's see what they have. Um, and they have local spring water, organic barley malts, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. But there's no other... I'm sure that there's more than just that as the, uh, the, 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 the actual ingredients. Uh, because it's very, like, I mean, it, this is a great beer for, for dessert or, or something along those lines. Again, I'm not a, a, a biggest fan of dark beers, but, you know, this one is kind of tasty. It doesn't stay strongly. It's, uh, it's, uh, the, the, the bubbles are crisp on your palate. I feel, I feel like I'm trying to sound all fancy, but I really don't know what to comment on these kinds of things. I haven't gone to uh, beer tastings and whatnot, but uh, it does taste good, and especially in this Boondock Saints uh, beer glass. So, cheers to you. Mm. So yeah, so it's uh, it's good. I think for those that like uh, uh, the strong beers that are in the dark regions, uh, they should like this. Uh, but again, I it's it's I bought it really because of the bottle uh so it, it was it was mainly that it was kind of you know kitschy and cool and whatnot so i got it for that 
it's not I've, I've had beers where i've actually had to okay i'm putting it down right away this one i'll con continue drink, drinking it it's not like the beers where i i like where i almost can't stop myself from drinking this one I'll, I'll drink i'll enjoy but i wouldn't necessarily order it again uh maybe if some friends are having a party or whatnot so uh cheers to you and uh hope you try it and uh, hope you like this review thanks for listening to pop logical make sure that you hit subscribe uh tell your friends share share the video sorry already the gas is coming out share the video uh, with as many friends as possible post it everywhere this is one of my first videos so I hope that you guys uh, spread the news uh, the kind of geek things that we're going to talk about here are comic books uh, science fiction TV shows be it through uh, reviews or uh, in-depth discussions with myself or other folks that we'll collaborate with so I thank you very much for joining talk to you next time pop logical